this is what we're going to use to create our motor mount. Um, it's important when we when you work with the motor mount, the uh, wooden pieces that these that the tube fits nice and snug. This is an extremely important piece because all that thrust is um, placed on these wooden rings. The glue that that attaches them to our uh, our motor mount itself, and then the fins. Where um, I've seen it where kids put this in here and they they're careless and they slide they glue the tube or excuse me glue the ring around the tube way too far down they slide it up in here so the wooden piece is in the slot that's a huge no-no um, if the wooden ring is in this slot then when you go to put your fins in the slot it's going to hit the wooden ring and it's not going to work you're not going to be able to get your fins in and when it's all glued in there nice and tight the only way to fix this is to bust out the entire mount. Often that'll do damage to the, the airframe, do damage to your, to your uh, motor mount. It'll break the rings. You have to build new rings or go buy new rings. Um, and, and the hobby shop, Waltz, uh, probably doesn't have a lot of these in stock around the rocketry challenge time. These um, can be hard to find. And if you wreck the bottom of your, your airframe, um, it's uh, it's not a good thing so when you're putting these on you need to be very careful your placement so glue. Uh -oh. um, this is our forward centering ring forward meaning it's facing the top of the rocket so as this is in in here it's going to be at the top um, you might say hey you know what we've got a lot of space if we make this go make the uh, motor mount tube go even with the rocket the motor mount tube is not going to be even with the rocket. The motor mount tube is actually going to be hanging out the bottom of the rocket a little bit. So if we use the um, connection ring uh, or launch ring or motor mount ring, I've heard it called, called a lot of different things, we have enough room to connect it. So we need to have this high enough, we need to have this high enough on our motor mount to uh, get it above those slots. Sand the inside of this just a touch to rough it up. Once again, we don't want to reduce the surface area in here. Being very, very gentle with the glue, we're going to go back and re we'll reinforce these at a later time after it dries. Staying right in the area I want my centering ring. Just smoothing it out, make sure we have a nice solid bead across here. Once again, we want these rings to be nice and tight and secure on this motor mount. Slide the centering ring right into that area. Move it back and forth a little bit. Make sure we have it on both sides. Okay, right on my mark. It's going to take a little bit of glue right around the top part here. There we go. Once again, sliding my finger. Wood glue, not a big deal. We can get that off fairly easily. Epoxy, don't use your fingers. 